Hey, what's up, you guys? And this is the third video in a row that I'm wearing the same shirt. So, you know, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Today's tag, I'm going to be doing the Grinch Christmas tag. I hope that's what it's called. Yes, it is. And it was created by Thoughts on Tomes, Sam, and I was tagged by Sam. And yeah, so let's just get started. I'm going to be reading the questions off my computer because they're pretty long and I can't memorize them because I'm retarded. Question number one. Half the lights on the Christmas tree are burnt out. That is really frustrating. <laughs> I would hate that. And name a book series slash character or just a singular book that started out good but then went downhill. For this one, I'm going to go with the 13th Child series by Patricia Reed. Patricia C. Reed, sorry. I loved the premise of this book. I thought it was really cool. It's about a seventh son of a seventh son, but also the seventh daughter, and she's the 13th child. So she's like really unlucky, and she just kind of thinks that she's cursed the whole time. And, you know, it's mainly about her. And so I, I just thought it had a really cool premise, and it started off really good. I was like getting really excited, and then the ending and just like where the story went was just kind of like. <laughs> okay. And. Um, you know, she she never got any stronger. She, like, she kind of started off as a, a weaker character, and, like, I thought she was gonna, like, you know, get stronger and become more, more like a badass and stuff, but she, you know, she just didn't at all. She just stayed the exact same. So I, uh, I definitely thought that this book, um, was going places, and then it just kind of <laughs> went downhill. Number two, annoying great aunt, and I'm gonna change it to Edna because I have an aunt. Edna, a great aunt Edna, and she is, you know, just crazy. She doesn't have any cats, but she has a lot of birds. <laughs> She's a little frightening. And she will not leave you alone. Name a book that you didn't enjoy, but everyone else seems to love, so it never goes away. Is it bad that I think I pretty much like all of the popular books that I've read? I, I really make sure that I think I'm going to no, like the things that I read, and I don't really just kind of blindly buy books, although sometimes I do, and they, it always ends up working out. I don't know. Let me go check my other bookshelf. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really have a good answer for this one, but I'm just going to pick a book that I didn't think was as good as everyone was saying, and for this one, I'm picking The Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I really enjoyed the first three books, and then she continued the series, and I just didn't really like it that much anymore, and it was just kind of boring, and I didn't really like, um... What was her name? And I didn't really like Clary all that much, so it just kind of like... I don't know. I just don't really like it as much as everyone else, and everyone just keeps talking about it and talking about it, and I just don't really care that much. Number three. Your pets keep knocking over the Christmas decorations. Which we've never really had because we have really small dogs, but my brother might be getting a dog for Christmas, and it's like a bigger one, so maybe next year we'll have that problem. Anyways... Name a character that kept messing things up for everyone else, and you can't pick a villain. For this one, I'm going to pick Seth from the Fablehaven series by Brandon Mull. And I buddy read the second book with Kayla from Book of Doodles, and we pretty much, you know, agree that Seth's main job in this series is to basically screw up everything and make everything much, much harder than it had to be before. Number four, you hear your pre parents putting out the presents and learn Santa isn't real. Oh my gosh. Name a book that you were spoiled for. Okay, well I don't have this book, but I was spoiled for The Faults in Our Stars, which is my own fault because it was out for a while before the movie, and you know, the movie came out and then people were talking about it and I got spoiled. So I don't really have any desire to read the book. I mean, I just know like cancer stuff gets me like super sad, like really easily, so I was already gonna know I was gonna get super sad and then I already know the ending too, so it's just kinda like, why would I want to read that? Number five, it's freezing outside. Name a character, a main character, you just couldn't connect with. For this one, I'm going to pick Perfection by J.L. Spellbring. This is a book where the Nazis won World War II and continued their genetic research and modification and basically made these perfect human beings that have blue eyes and blonde hair and they have like special talents. <laughs> and the main character, her name is Alyssa, I think spelled with an E. And she can read people's minds or talk to people in their minds. Anyways, her main thing is that she can't, like, she's not supposed to be able to feel certain emotions and that she can't. So that's a problem. But I couldn't really connect to her because I have those emotions and so I don't really, like, know how it's, 
like why those I don't know I didn't really understand things so I guess I didn't really connect to her but I really I mean I did enjoy the story and I plan to continue along with the series but I just like had a hard time connecting with her at first and, and, and kind of, I'm still not that connected, but I, I like the story, so I'm going to keep going. Number six, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You is playing all the time. And I actually really like that song, and people in my fraternity will play it just to get me to sing and be embarrassing. But, and it's giving you uh, anti, anti-romantic feelings. Name a couple you couldn't stand. And for this one, I'm going to go with Vin and Ellen from the... Mistborn trilogy, which is really upsetting because I absolutely love this trilogy. My favorite trilogy I've ever read. And I ended up liking them, but there was points in this book that I just really did not trust Ellen. I didn't like him. I didn't think he was a good guy. And I didn't think Ben should be with him. And I didn't like that they were together, and I just hated it. <laughs> but whatever. Number seven. That scratchy homemade wool sweater you got for Christmas years ago but won't get rid of. Show some books that have been sitting on your shelves for a while and you aren't motivated to read, but you don't have the heart to get rid of. Okay, I'm just gonna show you two. I got Allies and Assassins by Justin Somper a while ago, a really long time ago, and I got it as an ARC, and I never read it before the book came out, and I still haven't read it, and it's been a while. I think it's mainly because it's like a really big book and I don't, you know, you know what? I'm gonna read it. I'll read it. Next year I'm gonna read it. That's that's a challenge, guys. Hold me to it. And the other book, I got it from my aunt as a present, and I haven't read it. It says, For Connor, on your 18th birthday, with love, Cheetah. Um, that's my aunt. I don't know. We just call her Cheetah. Her real name is not Cheetah. But yeah, so there's the book. I Obviously, I got this a while ago. I'm about to turn 23, so I've had this book for almost five years, and I haven't read it. But I may in the future, and it's, you know, and it's inscribed to me. It says my, it says my name with my, my aunt. So, yes, I can't get rid of this book, and I probably won't ever get rid of it, but maybe I'll read it eventually. Number eight, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Name a character death you still are mad about. Warn people for spoilers. You can also use TV or movie deaths. Okay. In my room, I, this is one bookshelf, and my other bookshelf is, like, way back there, and I don't want to get up to go get it. But, spoiler for The Hunger Games, I guess. I will, um, you know, I'll do this when you can come back. <laughs> Alright, so, basically, I'm still upset about Prim. I feel like the whole point of Katniss doing everything was to protect Prim, and then she ended up dying. I understand why it had to happen, and, and I understand that it was important and I get why it happened, and I wouldn't change it now, but I'm still upset about it. Woo! Okay, people are back. Number nine, the malls are overly crowded with holiday shoppers. Name a series that has too many books in it, slash went on for too long. For this one, I'm going to go with The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. I actually really like this series, but it has gone on for a really long time. There's ten books in the series, and then there's also, like, companion books and stuff that you can get, and I'm having a really hard time finding books eight and nine, so... Yes. It's gone on for too long, because I can't find the books anymore. And number ten, The Grinch. Name a main character you hate, and you can't name villains for this one either. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna pick Tally from the Ugly series, uh, I just think that she's really just, like, selfish, and it's, and she just, you know, doesn't really care about other people, and she just always picks, like, her decisions for herself, and she just doesn't really care, so I'm gonna pick her. And that's the tag! Um, as for tagging people, I'm gonna tag... Oh, I don't know who's done it. I'm gonna tag... Chris from Reading Roads, and I'm gonna tag... Kitty G. So, I don't know if you guys have done this, but if you've already done it, then, like, whatever. But, yay! Have fun if you haven't. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below a book series that you can't get rid of but haven't read yet. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!